We've got a few yes, seconds. Yes, yeah. there's one statement. It's not only that fills our stomachs that enriches our lives, but that which fills our minds and our hearts, which enriches and enriches our lives as much. What else would our science correspondents say? <laughs> Dr. Robert Stovey, Dr. Patricia Whitelock, and Marinas. Unfortunately, we have to close because it seems that astronomical events, like human events, are unpredictable. We haven't got that big crash yet, but I'm sure SABC will bring you news of it. From all of us here at Sutherland, thanks for watching. Good night. When we thought we were going to be disappointed, we are not, because Q1, the big one, the fragment of the comet, has hit Jupiter. With me, the same team, Dr. Robert Stevey, Dr. Patricia Whitelock, and Marinus Vainbeck. And there's the picture. Doctors, tell us about it. The picture on the screen. On the, the picture on the right yeah. is the one to look at. And you can see we mentioned the, the black spot spots before. Now the one on the very right is the um, fireball. Now that is absolutely dramatic. Yeah. It's enormous. And it's double. Is it, is it double? Is there something else appearing? No, there's a third um, spot. It's a there. double apparently. It's double. Yeah. It's double. It was double. Ah, oh, unless there was no. something wrong with the picture. It's just there's gone back funny to happened to the picture there. It's already, it's already shrinking I after it, the initial impact. I think it's fading now. It could yeah. have started the impact maybe five to ten minutes ago. They last about 20 minutes typically, and, and I think it, it's fading. At uh -huh. its peak it was so bright we could see it in, in the unsubtracted image on the left there. How well have we done bringing this to the public? Brilliant. I mean, I think it's fantastic we were able ten to Ten minutes back ago, and, and you thought it might never happen at all? Yes, it was actually at least 20 minutes later. So we can say that at this very moment, we are showing our, our viewers what is actually going on at Jupiter at this moment. No. 45, 45, 45 minutes, 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 minutes later because of the time <laughs> lapse. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, Dr. Whitelock, express your joy. Uh, I, I'm really delighted. And, and it'll be very interesting when we look back at these things afterwards to, to try and figure out why it is that some of them were so incredibly late. And this one's the latest of the lot. He probably knew you guys were filming it. Well, we, we were, we'd, if you remember, we'd gone off with some disappointment over it's, to the corner over there to have some shot. liquid refreshment. And here we are back again. Please, the TV one has been able to bring you this. Okay, it is now shrinking. Let's hear something about that. It's what does shrinking mean? It's definitely shrinking. Well, when, what we see in the flash is a combination of two things. It's heat radiation directly from the material that's... that's the, composed of vaporized comet and interior of Jupiter that of course is exploded like a bomb so it's very hot so it emits in the infrared and it's shot very high into the Jovian atmosphere so it, it reflects the sunlight very effectively so we see both of those things now the reflected sunlight will not be fading uh, except that the, 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 the material may be dropping down again uh, a, a bit lower but the heat will be Cool, will be will be decreasing uh, and the the explosion will be cooling down rather rapidly and if it's typical of the others it'll it'll cool down over a period of about 20 minutes and leave a scar probably a very big one by the look of that how long will it take before we can see the scar dr whitelock I, I, just until the, the the planet rotates so that it's in the same kind of position as the others so in a few minutes time it'll it'll be clear that the, the, how big the scar is compared to the others. What, was this by all means was this the largest explosion so far i can't tell you i haven't seen the others in the same kind of way so the I way can't you were judge. so excited i gathered mm -hmm. it was it's impossible to tell just from these pictures we need to get properly calibrated pictures to be sure but i think it's incredibly exciting you know this event has um brought together astronomers, it must have been the most concentrated effort by astronomers worldwide to ob observe over this period of one week all these uh, impacts and the explosions are uh, phenomenal. Well that's all we have time for I think, we've got to return to TV One. Thank you very much for joining us, this has been a historic scientific moment. Um, we might come back to you again incidentally, but goodbye for now. <laughs>